All right, what's up, everybody? We have arrived at the season finale of the third season of Attack on Titan, and what a phenomenal season it has been. I mean, I already, like, I thought it was fantastic um, in the very beginning already. The first couple of episodes, you know, when we still kind of dived into the political narrative and stuff. And yes, some people could look at that as being a little bit slower paced or something, but I don't know. I already felt there that, like, I really enjoyed the 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 uh, the story driven you know direction very much for the depth it was kind of you know the different angles it was exploring i guess and i'm really by like episode six seven um when we really started getting uh, a lot of those answers already right and you know um where it delved into kind of uh, the whole deal with grisha uh with the rice family i mean that was crazy but i could not have figured where these uh you know just this entire second half has been going especially these last couple of episodes i mean it's been absolutely insane um of course last episode yeah was once again another mind-blowing sort of eye-opener in terms of so many details that we got the biggest thing obviously was um this this Aaron guy <laughs> and the owl uh, I'm, I'm talking about the other Aaron, i guess uh, uh although they seem to be the same person, right? That's the very odd part about it. But like, yeah, at the very end of the episode there, that Aaron revealed kind of having a particular foresight or um, was asking his dad to look out for, uh, or was asking Grisha, you know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> to look out for uh, Armin and for Mikasa and stuff. And it was like, holy shit, that was crazy. And it made me actually kind of like scroll through the episode again just now before I started uh, recording here for the last episode, realizing that like I was already talking about how he was using the same language that our Aaron uh, keeps using all the time, right? With, with, with his uh, Tatake or whatever fight uh, that he keep, that he kept um, mentioning. And then we see that scene there where Aaron is literally um, seemingly speaking the same lines that this other Aaron uh was talking about and Hanji mentioned that right like why are you talking uh, in yourself and stuff like that so well done once again um yeah even just you know again looking back through the episode and realizing how it was all kind of leading up to this revelation but again it's like well what was the actual revelation then right i mean they seem to be the same person but um yeah what are the the, the exact details of that or how does that work no idea. Yeah, of course, we learned a, a couple of other things that I think are going to play a huge role, are going to be very important. Uh, namely, of course, that Aaron, you know, he can use these founding titans' powers not to their fullest extent because he doesn't have royal blood within him, but he figured that the one titan, uh, which was Grisha's previous wife, uh, Dinah, or Dina, she was called, right? Um, like, uh, he, he touched her in that moment, and that actually allowed him to use those coordinates or those founding titan abilities to their fullest extent and stuff and that's why i could control all those titans and stuff so that will come into play in some way yeah again the, the whole talk with the coordinate is very interesting now i finally understand why they call them the coordinate it's because it literally kind of i guess means i mean again he's like the founding titan is the most important titan ability that connects all the other ones i think it was kind of mentioned in the episode how these these other titan uh, powers and stuff if the people that carry them kind of die or whatever then those uh, powers will still be passed on to newborn children that will then inherit those powers or something and i think the way it works but i could be wrong about that it seems to be again it's all about this founding titan as long as that gets to be kind of kept intact i guess or the founding titan keeps exi existing that's where the whole system still exists um i feel like when the when the founding titan um you know like dies or something then they do actually have a problem and then the Eldians are probably fucked or something uh so yeah he's the coordinate because it was kind of mentioned how these other titans can kind of i guess sort of see a pathway leading i i guess literally to the founding titan or something um emir saw that in the sky too and stuff it's like okay interesting so the coordinate is just where the founding titan is located that's kind of what it stands for i guess um fascinating stuff once again and i really wonder like where they're gonna go with it all yeah i i you know i really think that for now all that i have left to say is just to dive into the um the episode uh, i did not even look up what the last episode is called and i really should be doing that so i'm gonna scrolling real quick the other side of the wall <laughs> well actually we we know that um 
Of course, we got teased at the very beginning of season three, that little shot of Eren there standing at the sea, which clearly is on the other side of the wall. So I assume, um, yeah, I mean, we're going to venture beyond. And uh, this last season is going to be so hype because, yeah, I mean, I kind of figured that already, but it must basically mean all out war between the Eldians and the people of Morley or something. And I still, again, don't necessarily know if I can really side with any of them or something. Um, I'm just very curious to see how it all plays out. For now, I'm not taking any sides necessarily, because again, all these characters have their own motives and stuff, and some, you know, like some of the Eldians, as as I talked about, are very ashamed of their own history and stuff. Now, at the same time, these, these the, the people of Marley, although I guess they just, again, they, they look at these Eldians as like, yeah, people that will oppress them and stuff, and that's why they do it the other way around as well. So it's, kind of, it's just, you know, an all-around unfortunate situation, I guess, all thanks to... Uh, the, the, the good old Amir character who decided to make this deal with the devil or something, I guess. I mean, again, it's like, I'm not sure. Um, I, I, if anything, I guess we have that Amir person then to blame. But then I think it was the, the old version of Aaron <laughs> in the previous episode who mentioned that Amir... Um, yeah, I mean, she could be kind of looked at as a devil, but at the same time also a god or something. I, it was said, like, for the Eldians, she was a god or during the during the... Uh, moments of rain for the Eldians, she was uh, more like a god. So I guess that they look at it as, as a good thing then. <laughs> it's like, again, I, I don't understand the full extent of it yet, and I guess we're still going to get into all of that. And I don't know if I should be rooting for any side or... Um, yeah, again, where they're all going to go with it and stuff. And, and if we're ever going to get to a point where you're going to be able to truly root for characters i figured that very early on i feel where like of course i have always been rooting for Aaron and armin and mikasa and stuff because we've been following throughout this whole story and stuff right and they're very charming uh lovable characters as are almost all the characters honestly in this show of course um you know when i'm thinking about some somebody like erwin who of course has now unfortunately died but uh hanji and you know all these all these characters and it's like it was very easy to look at reiner and berthold and annie and stuff as evil people or something very early on, but I did start figuring, I think, pretty quickly, maybe during about season two or something already, uh, like maybe towards the, the latter half or something, that like, well, those characters, again, they, they are dealing with their own things. I mean, remember Rhino with his like mental state that was fucking him up and stuff, and it's like, he's not... He's not enjoying this. I, I said that, yeah, I, I specifically remember saying that, pointing that out already in that season two back there and stuff, realizing that like... You know, they have their own motives, and those motives are probably pretty valid, too. Um, and so even right now, although I understand what the motives for all these characters kind of are, I still don't know if I myself can root for any one of them specifically, or be like, oh, I want this faction to win or something. I mean, I'm here for the ride. That's <laughs> basically what it comes down to. But for now, yeah, let's actually uh, dive into this uh, This. This. Uh, the season finale guys so very much looking forward to it of course the next eight episodes are up on patreon so if you want you can already watch the first eight episodes of the fourth season over there linked on top of the description ovas are up there full length reactions i'll be doing a review right after i finish this season looking back at the entire um season and kind of talking about i guess my favorite episodes and uh, characters a little bit more in detail and stuff i've been doing that for every season so far so i plan to continue doing that as a nice little extra perk for the people on patreon uh we have a discord server by the way as well if you still want to talk about the final season although i don't know by now i'm not sure about it in all honesty but by now especially when this goes up on youtube it might already be finished i'm not sure in all honesty but um yeah that being said uh of course you are very welcome to join regardless though and i I mean, we're at least we here right now are still going to have quite the journey ahead of us with uh, a whole last season coming up uh, that I can't wait to see where, you know, that's going to go. So look forward to discussing that with you all in the Discord as well. But uh, for now, let's dive into this last episode of Season 3 of Attack on Titan. Very fitting uh, name as well. Uh, saying how it's about freedom because it's exactly what Eren has always wanted, right? Venture outside the walls and stuff. Eren 
ミカサアルミ誰のことだそうわからない<笑>誰の記憶だろう Beautiful Oh no Okay Just a little scene there しかしこのことを公表すれば壁は大混乱に陥りますぞならばまた民を騙すかレース王がやったようにいやだつ我々は皆運命を共にする壁の民人類を脅かす人食い巨人の正体は人間であり百年前にこの壁を築き巨人の力で民衆の記憶が流れてる。悪魔の民族と。I still wonder though why Reiner and stuff are on their side specifically. Drinking is always a good remedy, I guess. <laughs> Is there a way I wonder they could ever actually kind of manage to find peace with each other? Seems like that would only be temporary though if they do. マルロは最後まで勇敢だったうんマルロフロイデンベルクは俺と同じキューボ入団の新兵でその中でも俺たちをよくまとめてくれた現場は絶望的で調査兵団は全滅寸前まで追い詰められたあいつだけは仲間を
I can appreciate how this guy really is like keeping it 100% real. I mean, he's speaking his truth, that's for sure. Even Armin agrees. <笑>お前は見たのかよ。壁の外を。炎の水も氷の大地も砂の雪原もきっと壁の外には自由が。時間だ。並べ。I wonder why we kind of got those uh, scenes shown to us just now. Okay, what are they getting now? What are these special necklaces? Reminds me um, how they got the capes back in season one.俺にはヒストリアを犠牲にする覚悟がない。私は壁の外から来たエルディア人。今すぐ壁に攻めてきた巨人を殺してください。妻よ、子供たちが壁の民が壊れてしまう前に。Did they both see that just now, or just Aaron? <laughs> I guess just Aaron. Oh, it's snowing. Yeah, it's snowing. I guess they didn't see Zeke and Reiner again for a while. Oh right, they did already have some expeditions beyond and stuff, right? Yeah, that's literally like what we saw in the first episode, I think. That's what they returned from. Is he already getting some like longer hair? Because I remember he had like longer hair uh, in that intro tease or the episode one tease. Yeah, and they're finally kind of seeing their first views of what's beyond. <laughs> Who is it gonna be though? Just a regular one? Probably not. Okay, kind of a regular one. <laughs> I don't know. I just like the shape of it. <laughs> Look at those little arms. Shh. A fellow patriot. I guess, would they no longer have interest in killing the titans because they now realize they're kind of their own? Is this the what? Yeah! This is the place. Damn, man, this goddess. So vibrant.
Guess he's never seen a seashell before. Yeah, don't don't try tasting it. <laughs> Wasn't the salt kind of like very expensive or something? Back where they were from. そう Hmm. I wonder if that's supposed to represent something that the shell can't think of it right now. I actually don't know if there's actually like a outro tease for this episode, by the way. So I might have to just continue watching. Okay, that's it, I guess. <laughs> there really is something up with that with that shell, and I don't know what. Let's go to review, guys. Yeah, I I liked it, man. I mean that that season finale was a lot more subtle, obviously, than um, any of the the past couple of episodes have been. But you know, nice for a change. Again, it's like uh, I'm super hyped to see, obviously, what's gonna happen in in season four. And the nice thing for me, obviously, is that I can just move on and get started with it as soon as I really want to. Um, but I don't I don't even know if I would have been able to really handle another crazy ass episode to end this season with again because like so much information was shared with us and we found out so many things and like you know before that I mean before all the revelations we had these in insane action encounters and uh obviously the choice between Armin and Erwin there is so much stuff that happened um in the last six seven eight episodes that I, I I like the change in pace here for this this final episode and you know it's just like it feels so earned you know what I mean just that that final shot the last couple of minutes of them finally standing uh at the sea literally being able to bait uh, bait with their feet in the water you know for the first time there um yeah, you know, s literally standing at the sea that, that Armin and Aaron had been talking about, you know, all this time, uh, you know, way back in like the, f the first episode of the show, you know, to that was always their, um, their dream to see what would be beyond, right? And it's like, yes, we are now learning indeed kind of what's going to be beyond. And the answer is a little bit different in some way than uh, I guess Aaron had imagined because he had always imagined, like he literally said in this episode, that what would be beyond was freedom. But instead, it's actually more like, well... It is kind of that, but then it's also obviously a whole different, yeah, place or whatever uh, that we know of now, uh, Marley. And I, I wonder if there's still more to it than just that. But for now, all that we know is just Marley. And um, that place is full of enemies, basically. And it's, it's also interesting because thinking about it, we have, I guess, not even... Uh, yeah, I mean, other, you know, kind of other than, than Zeke and, and Grisha, those are the only real people, I guess, that we've seen that are, um, well, I don't know. I mean, again, Reiner and Berthold probably are too and stuff. They are from Marley, but then again, they're not original people of Marley. They're still Eldians. It's like, I don't think we've really, or they, at least in the, in the uh, you know, in the, um, I, I mean, Aaron, Armin and uh, Mikasa have not seen a single uh person yet from Marley or something never met anybody like that right and so, yeah we've, we've seen a couple now obviously in that episode with um uh with with Aaron's dad you know the, those gods that threw the other people of the walls and stuff I mean those were uh people from Marley but yeah it's just you know kind of thinking about that thought again it's like you know f there's freedom but there's also enemies um which yeah it still makes me kind of wonder about that kind of a sidetrack maybe but um 
you know, I was kind of wondering about like, would it be possible in some way to actually accomplish peace, maybe at the end of the show, right? Like that would that would be an interesting concept for sure. Um, because what I also kind of figured is like, yes, we have some enemies in the form of Reiner and um, Zeke uh, and Annie still, but technically they are they are Eldians, right? And so if you get them on your side, actually, like. How bad can the enemy still uh, can the enemy still be at that point? Because they can turn into titans. You know what I mean? I still actually don't know that. How did the people of Mali ever really accomplish to take back over? Because it was mentioned that that like from oh it's it said I think from within or something they they said right. So does that mean that they actually managed to convince some of these people with titan abilities and that's how they did it? So they actually managed to convince. Um, yeah, like maybe, you know, uh, again, ancestors of, uh, you know, uh, Rhino, Berthold, Annie, you know, Zeke and stuff. And that's kind of how they accomplished it. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, again, very curious to see where that's all going to go. We saw this, <laughs> we saw that Titan there that they talked about um, that they didn't kill this time around. And I guess I kind of understand why, because now they suddenly kind of view them as their own, because it's also an Eldian. Um and technically, by killing them, I guess you're only really helping, again, Reiner and Zeke's cause and stuff, right? So uh, I, I wonder if we're still ever going to kill a regular Titan from here on out. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, what else can I really touch on? Er, you know, Aaron still knows that Historia could in some way come in handy, if that's the way to put it. Uh, you know, he will need somebody of royal blood to fully make use of his powers so where is that gonna go i have no idea that was that 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 scene with the guy kind of reflecting on on the you know the choice being made between armin and erwin and stuff and that was a very you know i thought that was a very powerful moment because again it, it just delved into and i talked about it during the episode it delved into the many different um you know, ways or uh, how should I put this? The the motives of characters, but also their viewpoints, the the their angles, where they're coming from, and like I always like that because I that I can always understand where these characters are coming from and stuff. And even though, of course, I would be rooting for particular characters, and I do have my favorites as well. And so I'm 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 still, um, I guess in the end. Well, I don't know. It was always for me a very tough choice between Armin and Erwin because literally both of them were my top two characters. You know what I mean? I'd probably have put Armin at number one. So I guess that I am happy that if any of the two had to be picked that it would be Armin. But still, it's like uh, not necessarily happy. I mean, clearly not happy with uh, <laughs> Erwin having to be sacrificed for that. But again, if the choice had to be made, then um, I guess I should be happy. But I'm not sure. Um but then again, it was very understandable where this guy was coming from too and, and saying that it should have been Erwin or something, right? It's like, yeah, it's, uh, you know, tough, but, but uh, you know, he, he at least he kept it real from his angle once again, and I can appreciate that too. Um, uh, it was a great episode. Really, that's all that I can say. Um, and yeah, li like I said, surprisingly subtle for what has been an absolutely batshit, crazy, insane season. But, uh, you know, I, I think a very fitting ending nonetheless. Um, yeah, that only makes me more and more excited to see where the, where the next and final season is going to go. It's kind of like, you know, it's what sucks about it is that I don't want this show to end. <laughs> but, uh, you know, not that it, I mean, we're not there yet, right? But, um, and I think season four is going to be the longest season of all of them. Uh, yeah, but still, it's like, man, the thought of it alone that like we're about to start the final season is like, damn, dude. What a journey it has been, and I can't wait to see uh, what's still left in store. But for now, I want to thank you all for tuning in. I will be, uh, like I said, doing a major review for Season 3 that will be going up uh, over on Patreon still before... Um you know, the next episode gets posted. Uh, of course, over on Patreon, you can already watch the uh, first eight episodes of season four, should you want to. My reactions are all up there, linked on top of the description. Full-length reactions if you want to watch these entire episodes along with me. OVAs as well. A couple of other exclusive videos that I did in the past already, like reacting to Attack on Titan in nine minutes. Um, and I think some other stuff there still as well. So go check that out. Of course, your support is very much appreciated. I hope you enjoyed my reaction. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And then I look forward to seeing you back for season four.